Live right now, a community is gathering to honor the memories of three Bellbrook teens killed in a crash. It has been exactly one year since Skylar Cookin, Sophie Kerrigan, and Juliana Hawk died on Wagner Road when the truck they were riding in was struck a tree. Jackie Sprague is live with our top story at five. Well, family and friends have already started gathering here at Bellbrook Cemetery on Upper Bellbrook Road. You can see them right now getting ready to start that uh, memorial. Now, 17 year old Sophie Kerrigan, 16 year old Skylar Cookin, and 14 year old Juliana Hawk died when investigators say the driver of the truck they were riding in lost control and hit a tree in Sugar Creek Township last November. Now, the girls' families say today's memorial is a way to keep their memories alive and that it's, it's events like these that make them realize how loved. Loved these girls were and how much their deaths impacted this community. Now, their families hope that you will also take some time to remember their short but full lives today. Now, this memorial will start here in about 15 minutes. You can see there's dozens of people already here, and their families are inviting you to come out here and help remember these girls with them. Jackie, of course, there is a legal aspect to this as well. Where does the case against Jesse Whitaker, the teen driver charged with causing that fatal crash, stand as of tonight, one year later? Well, Mark, I spoke with Jesse Whitaker's attorney this afternoon, and he tells me that Jesse is scheduled to make his first juvenile court appearance on vehicular homicide charges on December 3rd, now coming up at 6. I'll tell you why the victim's families have asked for a special meeting with the Greene County prosecutors. For now, coming, er, for now reporting live in Bellbrook, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.